This video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. More on them in a minute. A bit has changed since my previous EDC video, mostly by things needing to be replaced or my daily interests or routines changing. I often get a lot of comments asking questions about things in my EDC and what they are, specifically this watch. So I hope some of your questions are answered in today's video. My everyday carry is built around functionality frequency of use, and just how cumbersome it feels to carry all day. And yes, quite frankly, 99% of the time when I'm leaving the house for the day, I bring my sling bag, but these are the absolute essentials that come with me when this bag isn't coming with me. This is my current everyday carry setup. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here we talk about minimalism, frugal living, tech, and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you and you end up liking the video, be sure to like and please use the reverse harem jutsu on the subscribe button. Let's get started. And before I get started, I'm going to leave a link to everything that I talk about in this video in the description box. Phone. And what other way to start an EDC video than by talking about my phone? I currently have an iPhone 13 in green. And if you're interested in seeing exactly how I have my phone set up, I'll leave a link right here for that video. My previous phone was an iPhone 10 that I had for about four years or so. And unfortunately, I needed to upgrade due to battery as well as some other issues. To be honest, I fantasize about having a dumb phone all the time, but until I could find one that supports Spotify and Maps, that's gonna have to wait. I feel like the iPhone 13 is a really good balance between functionality battery life and size for me. I've never really opted to ever go for the pro models because to be honest, I never really take pictures with my phone. Wallet. If you remember my last EDC video, you might recall what a gigantic piece of garbage I thought my previous wallet was. It's no secret that I'm a fan of aesthetic everyday carry items. That's why I was excited when Ridge Wallet reached out to me for a collaboration. They make high quality wallets that come with a lifetime warranty as well as other high quality accessories. Specifically, I really love the laser engraved design on the wallet as well as the option to use the cash strap or cash clip. I'm also a fan of this high tech key organizer that houses all my keys, a multi-tool, and can be kept on my keychain or clipped in my pocket. I highly recommend checking them out. And if you're interested in getting the best offer, be sure to use my link ridge.com slash things of that nature and get up to 40% off through December 22nd. Again, that's ridge.com slash things of that nature. Thanks Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. So now that you know a little bit about the wallet I'm currently using, I'll say that for quite a while, I can't really see myself ever using a different wallet. It's slim, it never feels cumbersome, and it definitely feels like it's built to last. AirPods. The next and very essential part of my everyday carry is definitely my AirPods, specifically my AirPod Pros. These things are just as essential for me to have, just as my keys are to drive my car. They serve me the obvious uses like listening to music if I'm at the park or at the gym, but in a very specific use case, the noise cancellation comes so in handy when I'm editing videos. I love to edit my videos outside of the house when I have the opportunity, and very rarely do I find a place that's just quiet. So the noise cancellation really comes in handy with that specifically. And on a side note, I really love that the new AirPods allow me to adjust the volume on the stem. Keys. I've given a lot more attention to my keys and key setup ever since getting into the world of EDC. Starting from the top of my keys, this is my Orbit Key Clip V2. It's this carabiner that usually gets clipped to my bag or belt loop, and it has this little magnetic pull tab that allows me to quickly grab my keys and not have to unhook them. I often get asked if I'm afraid of these just randomly falling off, and the answer is not really. On my keychain, I have my AirTag, which has come in handy already a few times, the few times that I've lost my keys, as well as the few times I've purposefully left it in my car when I parked in an area that I'm not familiar with. And I have my car key. I love Toyota. My house keys are kept in this Ridge key organizer 
that also has a belt clip. Also kept in this key organizer is this little multi-tool from Orbit Key, and it's mostly used as a box opener, as well as a flathead screwdriver when I'm assembling or disassembling my camera stuff. Sunglasses. So for these, I have the same exact pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses that I talked about in my previous EDC video. The only difference now is that they're a little beat up. The sunglasses I had before this, I literally had for like eight or nine years or so. So I didn't mind spending a little bit more money because I knew how long I typically keep sunglasses. And I wanted a style and color that I felt like matched most things I wore and a style that I didn't feel like I would get tired of for a while. My watch. Out of everything that I currently own, I would say this is by far the thing I get asked about the most in person and in the comments section. And to be fair, I do rotate between two Timex Expedition watches. Both were around like $40 or so, and both of them were gifts. This black one is getting worn quite a bit more these days because I feel like it matches better with everything that I wear, and I love this black NATO strap. I really do like watches, particularly these budget ones because I can never afford a crazy expensive one, and I did have a smart watch in the past, it just wasn't for me. Water bottle. Lastly, I'm gonna finish off my EDC with my water bottle making its triumphant return because it is definitely something I bring with me everywhere I go. It's a 32 ounce black hydro flask that has been to hell and back. I've actually left this on top of my car multiple times and driven off with it. I've had it fly onto the pavement and it only has a few scuffs to show for it. I absolutely hated buying water bottles in the past and this solved that problem for me years ago and it confidently keeps water cold from the beginning to the end of the day, regardless of it being in my car in this Florida heat. And to make life just a little bit easier, a while ago I did get this little cup holder expansion thing to keep in my car, so it fits in my cup holder. Neat. I still do have my Nalgene water bottle as well, and I rotate between these two when one is dirty. That pretty much sums up everything I have in my current everyday carry setup. Like everything in my possession, my everyday carry is changing with my needs and my interests. Anyways, I hope you got some value from this video, maybe even some inspiration of some things you would like to implement into your everyday carry. As always, I appreciate the time you spent here and I appreciate you watching. If you did like this video and you do like this type of content, be sure to like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.